So Ray kind of has a mental bulletin board of words that haunt her, and in the video she comes face to face with them. This was probably one of the most personal parts for me because I picked words that actually have haunted me. Trash. I picked trash because I was called trash so much growing up. And it was wild because I was a kid, like I hadn't even got into anything yet. So it was like I was being called trash for just existing. And it happened so much that I actually started to believe it. It got to the point where when I would hear it in movies or TV or when other people would say it, I would feel humiliated because it was like I felt like they were subliminally talking about me. It took a long time to stop flinching when I heard that word. Abandon. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this, but it has been a repetitive scene in my own personal life and it kind of held hands and backed up the title of trash. It seemed very easy for people to just kind of throw me away or walk away, and it didn't seem to bother them much. So I started to believe that also, like maybe I am just a piece of trash that can be thrown out, that can be abandoned, and that's why that word is on the board. Sensitive is not a bad thing. I don't have it on the board because it is a bad thing. I actually think it's a superpower. If you can stay soft and not get a calloused hard heart in this dark world, um, keep it that way. Guard your heart, but don't, don't let it grow hard. The reason that sensitive is on the board is because of how people deflect their responsibility onto a perceived emotion. For example, when they treat you awful and they betray you and they lie to you and you try to call them on it, they'll say, oh, you're just being so sensitive. They blame you for what they did. It's a really easy trick to uh, deflect. Crazy. This one will have a chokehold on you because if you ever try to tell someone the truth, even if you're super cool about it, they'll call you crazy. Or have you ever cried so hard that you felt your lungs were gonna collapse? And instead of someone running to comfort you, they just said, you're out of your mind, you're, you're crazy. Or have you ever finally stood up for yourself? You finally showed a side other than being afraid and now you're the crazy one. That's why crazy's on the board. Crossing these out and tearing them up had a lot of meaning behind it. It was definitely a full circle moment for me, even though I felt kind of a little bad because my friends did such a good job putting it together, but I think they got it. And that's it. Whispering is out now on all the streaming platforms and the video is available on YouTube.